Hey guys, back again. Uh, Alphabet City, this is F Square. Uh, pretty much as small as, as the E Street, but, <clears throat> uh, you know, once again, another letter I should concentrate on. We'll get to go in here. Um, this is uh, some friends of mine from back when I was playing punk, punk bands, things like that. Um, and they're from um, Michigan, Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti area. Um, and uh, ironically, another band um, from Michigan had the same name years later, but uh, this is The Fags, and this is called No Stages. Um, basically, it's their full length, private press, of course. Um, friend Jeff was in his band, Carrie and, and Becky, and uh, you know, comes with like handwritten stuff, you know, wrote punk rock what have you. Um, I don't know who I could compare them to. I mean, they were just like real fat. I mean, it was Black Flag-ish, um, hardcore, uh, Carrie Sang. And actually, she went on to be in the Von Bondies for a little bit. So, you know, it's who you know. But yeah, I loved that band. I thought, and you know, we played with them quite a bit. One of my old bands, um, Dai or who Jeff actually ended up playing drums for eventually. Um, and now he's playing with um, a band called Suicide by Cop. They're um, from Michigan, Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti area. And he's he's releasing his own records and stuff. I'm super proud of him. I love that guy. Um, okay, up next, another 50 cent find. One of the, let's see, I got two or three maybe four hip-hop records, but this is one of them. It's the Fat Boys, it's crushing. Uh, it's a classic, what can you do? I mean, 87, favorite song on here is probably Protect Yourself slash uh, My Nuts. It's about safe sex, kids, because, you know, AIDS still mattered back then. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, AIDS still matters, but, you know, people don't, obviously, HPV is the main, the cool STD these days. But yeah, Fat Boys, you know, and they're really, in retrospect, they're not that fat compared to people today, you know what I mean? <laughs> America's gotten a lot fatter since 87. Uh, next, these guys, I think, were from around here, but I bought this record when they were coming through Ohio. Um, it's on Estrus Records, uh, this is Federation X with American Folklore. It's good rock and roll. Uh, that's them there. They were a lot of fun. We actually, uh, I think the Igniters, the band I was also in, we opened for them. And uh, we had a good time that night. Uh, anybody shown this lately? Fleet Foxes. And I was gonna pick up that EP yesterday, but I figured I'd just wait till the full length comes out. I'm not like, I'm not. I mean, there's certain bands I'm anal about when it comes to um, collecting their things, like the Grinder Man stuff, um, Devo, things like that. But most bands, I mean, I, I can I can live with their albums. You know what I mean? Up next, love this record. I uh, want to find some other stuff by these guys, but it's super expensive and super hard to find. But the Flower Traveling Band with uh, Satori. Um, if you have not heard this record, um, Slayer rips it off. That's all I gotta say. If you like Slayer, you'll like this record. You'll hear um, one of the parts. It's all it's broken down into parts. It's Satori like one through six, I believe. I'll show you the Inner Sleep too. Pretty rad, huh? I mean, you look at that and you're like, oh, that's cool. Then you open this up and you're like, wow. But yeah, one through five. And I think it's part two. Um, it, sound, it, it sounds like, uh, yeah, if you listen to uh, Rain and Blood and then listen to this record and you'll see what I mean. But this came out in like the early 70s, 71. I think. And I like how it has like, I think that's the price in yen for this record. I don't know if it's now or then. I'm not keeping up on the exchange rate, so. 
Yeah, awesome. Great record. I <coughs> uh, picked this up when I was in Ohio a few months back for a dollar. Uh, focus with Moving Waves. Everybody knows Hocus Pocus by Focus. Um, and then the side two is like a multi-part suite called Eruption. It's a lot mellower than, I mean, because I hadn't heard much Focus except for Hocus Pocus, which I love. Um, but like a lot of the songs are more and more mellow, so it's it's pretty fun. Fun stuff nonetheless. Um, good mellow music, and then they, they mix it up, you know. Um, and Eruption sounds like it's, um, I mean, based on, because a lot of it's instrumental with like, you know, singing, like, uh, you know, not lyrics, but just singing, um, based on Greek mythology, so that's kind of neat. But yeah, check that out. Um, next, uh, Christian gave me this record. It's um, Fugazi's first record. I don't have any more Fugazi, but you know, once again, it's Friends. It's an EP, and um, it's their first EP, rather. And um, yeah, Friends have Fugazi. I don't really need every single album. Yeah, Fugazi is an awesome band. I loved Minor Threat back in the day. I like a lot of Discord stuff, so. And then finally, I gotta get more stuff by these guys because this album tripped me out. And, um, you know, they're goofy and obviously take a lot of drugs. Um, but the Fugs. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're Zap, you know, in the school of Zappa where, no, we don't take drugs. Maybe I should do more research. If any of you guys know anything about the Fugs, um, post it in the comments so I can get some education. I, I don't really trust Wikipedia anymore, you know what I mean? Uh, this is Tenderness Junction. And this is a reissue, obviously, on Four Men With Beards. Those guys are doing it up. Yeah, cool little, uh, you know, gatefold with the members of the band. Um, Alan Ginsberg is involved in this. I'm... Okay. Alan Ginsberg, if it's the same Alan Ginsberg I'm thinking of, I'm thinking Alan Ginsberg, the uh, activist um, from the 60s. But this album uh, was. Let's see, I think it was recorded in the late 60s. Let's see if the record tells me anything. <laughs> nope. Reissued in 2007, that's all it said. Um, I'm assuming like 60s, like 67, 68. Yeah, that was F Square. And uh, I'll probably wait a couple days before I do another one. I listen to all those records I got yesterday and last week at that show still. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and have a great week, and I'll see you soon. And tell your friends about the vinyl community. Um, don't forget to visit the message board. Um, it's really awesome. We're getting some good dis discussions going with like what we're listening to and what kind of gear we have and uh, recommendations on cartridges and styluses. And fun stuff. Just as long as you're not some weird porno person or spider robot or whatever the hell. But um, I love you guys and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.